Hello everyone, and welcome back to another pop review on the channel. We haven't done a single, like, a uh, bigger pop uh, yet. We've only done all regular size pops, like chases, exclusives. Um, we did a convention exclusive, and, um, commons. But we haven't done any, uh, two packs, three packs. We even did a movie moment, but we haven't done any two packs or three packs or, um, the bigger guys. So, uh, I'm going to make, uh, the first bigger guy, which is going to be the Tyrant from Resident Evil. Let me put that back a little bit so you can see the top of the box. Now, they did make two different Tyrants. Um, they were both exclusives. One was a Hot Topic exclusive and one was a Target exclusive, which this guy, by the way, was so hard for me to get. I didn't, I had to travel to the next town over to get the Hot Topic one because my Hot Topic didn't have any, but, um... I drove to three different targets across, um, not across the state, but, um, halfway through the state, and I, none of them got any at all, then the fourth one I was on my way, and they said they only got one and it already sold, so, but I couldn't get that one anywhere, so this one I ended up buying at that, um, pop trade, um, uh, flea market, kind of, in, uh, Ohio that I'm gonna be going to again this year, I do it every year. Um, and then this one ended up actually getting it Hot Topic the next town over. So, uh, there wasn't a common one. The only difference between the two, they have the exact same mold and everything, is that this one glows in the dark, and this one does not. The only difference. And, um, they originally started with this one being worth a lot more than this one, but if I remember right, I think this one might have passed this one in value, but I can't remember exactly. i definitely check it out on, uh pop price guide i'll leave the link in the description if you guys don't already know what that is uh, i do mention it a couple of times throughout the videos on the channel it's a pretty good place to go to check your pops out but anyway back to the video um as you can see i'll just pull this one up since they're the same uh his right hand and our sorry right hand and arm are like normal and his left one is the actual um claw and whatnot which if you guys are resident evil fans you guys already know where he came from uh he's the really the last boss in the really first uh resident evil game i personally played it on the uh ps1 back in the day um really good franchise you should definitely check it out it's really fun um the newest one isn't like the older ones but still pretty good it's more of like a survival horror but anyway we're talking about pops so um, he has all white eyes, as you can see here. These bigger ones are hard to get in the camera here with the camera I'm using. He has all white eyes. He has cool, um, like, red veins, like, on the outside, or arteries, I should say, on the outside instead of on the inside of his body. And if you look in there, you can actually see his heart on the outside as well, which is one of his weak points. And in this collection... <clears throat> There are uh, no chases, and there are no exclusives except for the Hot Topic Tyrant, the Target Tyrant, and then GameStop had the Hunter. And the Hunter and the uh, ty two Tyrants are all big ones, and then all these are small ones, and like I said, they're all commons, which was, I think, the only set... I know it's the only set I have that's like this, but um, I don't even know if there are other sets like this where all the small ones are commons with no chases at all. And then the big ones in the collections are all exclusives. There wasn't a single common big one in this collection. They were all exclusive, which I thought was pretty unique too. And believe it or not, guys, they, um, the Nem... I'll put it back around real quick to show you. The Nemesis and the Liquor... So, I didn't collect Pops at this point, and we were at the mall, and I saw these two. They looked so absolutely cool, so I bought them. Not to collect, I was actually going to take them out and just put them out, and like I said, I wasn't into Pops at the time, but I liked it so much, and then I found out how big Pops were, and I looked at all the different kinds of Pops that there were, and I was like, I, this is something I want to get into. So I didn't open them up, but they're in my collection. But technically, these would be the really first two pops I ever bought in my entire pop collection, which is hundreds of pops. <laughs> so these two literally started my entire pop collecting. 
So I guess I should owe it to Resident Evil for me being into Pops, I guess. I never saw a Pop that got me into it. And you guys know that it's once you buy a pop it's hard to stop it's kind of like <laughs> kind of like an addiction like once you start it you have to finish it well, at least i felt like that and especially when i with any pop collection when i get one or two pops that look cool or something i just have to finish the collection that i just it's something in me i just can't leave collections not finished so uh that's mainly what started it for me there which I was surprised they didn't make Nemesis a big one because he's actually the size of the tyrants in the actual game. So, or games, I should say. Um, so I was really surprised about He's actually t bigger than the Hunter, if I remember right. So it's weird that the Hunter is a big uh, pop and he's the normal sized one. But I'm no actual complaints. Like, that's not even a complaint. I'm just mentioning it. It's nothing I'm upset with. But, uh,. Overall, these pops look really cool. They even put like the little uh, yellow white like pussy knit, like bubbles on his right leg over there. It's kind of hard to see it. Maybe it's easier on this one. No, it's not any easier. Well, it shouldn't be. It's the exact same thing, like I said. But um, really, really cool. He actually does glow pretty good. Um, actually, last night after I filmed the uh, Tinkles uh, video for Rick and Morty pop review. I'll leave the link in the description for that as well, uh, if you haven't seen it yet, because we don't have a Rick and Morty on the channel besides that one. Uh, his glow in the dark is really good. I checked out a lot of my glow in the dark pops. Uh, the one that still sticks out the brightest over every single one, uh, you know what? I won't say it. I'll save it for tomorrow's video. I'll do a pop review on him tomorrow. But he's going to be the one that glowed out the most. But this Tyrant, I will say, is the biggest uh, big pop that I have. Uh, it's the biggest. I don't know why I said that. The um, the best glowing big pop that I have. When you turn the lights off, you don't even need a black light or anything. You can see this guy from across the room. At least his face you can. So, really, really cool. Because I know there's some glow-in-the-dark pops, which I have a couple in my personal collection that are you can't really notice the glow that well which is kind of disappointing but it is what it is um the hades chase i did a review on uh at the beginning of the um channel i'll, I'll leave a description a link in the description for that as well if you haven't seen it it is really really good with the glow like he is one of my brighter ones but again i'm gonna save uh the brightest one in my entire collection as far as glow in the darks go uh for tomorrow and it is an exclusive chase that's the only hint that i'll give you guys and i'm going to tell you what store because i feel like that would give it away but um it is kind of recent it is end of 2017 it came out but again no more talking about that that'll be tomorrow's video but if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe for more content I uh, really appreciate it and i do uh shout out every new subscriber in the next video that i make um, after they've subscribed to the channel so um you get those uh, free shout outs for that and in the comment section below uh we're doing games today so uh let me know what your favorite uh gaming pop is i think we did that before with the uh, blockbuster master chief but it doesn't hurt to do it again if you missed it or whatever um i won't link well yeah i i'll link the master chief one in, in the description too that's like four links isn't it i'll yeah i'll do just those four i feel like that's a lot of links for a video because i usually don't put links in videos um i apologize for that but it'll be in the description so it shouldn't be in your guys's way um no more links though i promise everything else to talk about I'll, I'll i'll leave for another time but um yeah leave your favorite gaming pop in the comment section below and uh I have decided, at least I can't say I've 100% decided, but I'm like 90% on the side of I want to put some gaming on the channel. I still don't know what I want to do yet. Um, I'm probably going to do some of those videos either at the end of this week or the beginning of next week. Because uh, I'm just looking at the channel history and we have kind of an overwhelming amount of pop reviews versus like pop hunts and unboxings and whatnot. So... I kind of want to take a break. I'll do a review um, for the next couple of days probably, but I want to like put
put those on a little break for a second just so the channel doesn't just become a pop review only basically because it's kind of what it's ha what's happening right now so i'll put some gaming on there um i've been playing a lot of fortnite so it might be fortnite but i kind of don't want to do that because that's what everybody's putting on their channels i know you guys probably don't want to see that but it's honestly what i'm playing a lot of right now um I will be doing a lot of uh, Black Ops 4 when it comes out. I'm really into Call of Duty. Um, but I think that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, so again, if you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. And always lucky pop hunting, everybody. And have a good night. Bye.